Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Simply Called Angela Williams. Um, okay, so if you watched my last video, you know I had um, had my surgery. I had uh, was did my 10-day post-op with the follow-up with the surgeon. And, you know, this time I had the hardware in, some rods, some screws, and a metal plate in my uh, left ankle. And um, it was just wrapped up in ace bandages at this time. So uh, after 10 days, you know, that was like, okay, we needed to bake a little more. <laughs> he said, we won't help along fast, so we're going to put it in a cast. I was hoping for a walking boot, but, you know, cast it was. So um, you saw me get my cast on. So I will stop this video and show you the different angles of the cast in case you're curious, and then we'll, uh, we'll pick it back up. Welcome back. Hope you enjoy that. I wanted purple. They said they had purple at first. I was so excited because that's my favorite color, but they had blue, so that's fine too. Um, okay, so now got this cast on, y'all. Let me tell you something. I'm like a little bit claustrophobic, meaning that, you know, when I get in closed spaces or anything that feels tight to me, it kind of makes me go a little cray-cray. <laughs> like, I guess not really cray-cray, but a little uh, uncomfortable, a little anxious, I should say. So having that cast on, and I had that cast on for like three weeks, y'all. And, you know, and my ankle was swelling. Um, but this time, you know, I had got those staples out, you know, that had closed up the, the you know, it wasn't stitched, it was staples and the incision. I got those out because those things were terrible too, but... But in the cast, you know, in the cast, your ankles, like, my, my ankle was swelling, I should say. And, uh, look at my hair, y'all. But anyway, my ankle was swelling in that cast. And it's in a, such a small, confined space that just imagine something's trying to swell, but it only has this much space. So that hurt, and it was uncomfortable, and I didn't get a lot of sleep either. Um, I had a hard time trying to stay asleep. Um, they, I had pain medication still, but they tried to, like, wean you off of these opioids. So I had, like, you know, just the... the the lower end of pain medication, like Tramadol, and I was still taking my ibuprofen, and I still was taking, um, you know, just Tylenol, stuff like that, you know, um, to get through it, but it, it was just not fun, not fun at all. So, I don't know if everybody has this experience, or maybe it's just me, but also my toes, my toes were like very, very cold in the cast, because it only, you know, it was sticking out pretty much, my toes were so freaking cold, it was so cold, I told my husband, bring me my blow dryer, I was like downstairs in my makeshift bed in the living room, because... I felt like I would do better downstairs. I went crazy when I was upstairs when uh, before my surgery. And because, you know, refrigerator down here, TV's down here, my husband's mostly down here, bathroom's down here, everything, you know, like half bath down here anyway. If it's got side, check mail, whatever, you know. So I just felt better being downstairs. But my toes were just so cold. And I, I told my husband, bring me to blow dry. We, I mean, I had to blow dry on high. Like I have it on my toes, you know, just. I mean, and it just it felt like my toes not get warm enough. And I, I, I speculate that's because of poor blood circulation which is probably not a good thing. I still was taking daily aspirin, Bayer, 81 milligrams daily aspirin a day to help prevent um, blood clots. And, and that also thins your blood too. So maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But my I just, my toes could not get warm enough. And then I tried to put like a little sock on it. It just, it, that didn't help. I tried to put a blanket on And it was in the summertime. Okay. But the air conditioner would be on sometimes. Sometimes I had it off. Even when the air conditioner was off, my, my poor little toes were just still cold. And then I had the swelling going on. So yeah, it's going kind of cray cray, but I, um, but also I'm, I'm looking down to make sure I don't forget to tell y'all something cause it's been about, you know, two years ago, but, um, you know, it, it was just a very, very, um, crazy experience. I'm like going through emotional roller coaster, y'all, but the doctor had told me also to try to wiggle my toes, even though it's in a cast, try to wiggle the toes. I guess that's the, to help the blood circulation or maybe help the ankle. I don't know to remember that it is an ankle that it can move, even if it's in a cast. I'm not sure why, but I did try to wiggle my toes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I had trouble trying to um stay asleep. Somebody had suggested um I was reading articles and people at my job too were suggesting like CBD, you know, CBD oil or CBD gummies, not the illegal stuff that has THC in it, but just regular um CBD, not the stuff that makes you high or whatever. But because CBD is legal in all fifty you know states, so uh but I tried that. I was like sleep for like maybe a couple of hours, but child it was rough it was rough during that time and um i pretty much was just going i don't know i was going kind of i was still working because i was able to work from home but I, and i was always just so tired all the time because i wasn't getting good sleep and now i'm still on you know medication and so i don't know for some reason y'all i just felt comfort in watching only thing that would comfort me when i couldn't go to sleep only thing that would help me be comforted when i couldn't go to sleep and, and basically fall asleep too is naked and afraid 
in my 600 pound life. I don't know if y'all seen those shows, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I, fe I felt comfort in the, the 600 pound life. I don't know. I connected to them somehow while I was going through my broken angle. I don't know. But and also naked and afraid. I connected to that. I get because they was like out there trying to survive and they were just trying to make do with what they had. I think that's how I was feeling. I don't know. But those are my go-to shows. Naked and afraid, 600 pound life. I mean, I pretty much was just watching that like religiously. It was like, nah, it was insane. Because I couldn't go to sleep. And that's pretty much, you know, what was on. So I was watching it. But, um... Also, um, my husband, you know, he went back to work, of course, and he was, you know, he was cutting me up fruits and stuff, leaving me bottles of water. So I would have to like, you know, in a little freezer, a little thing. So I would have to get up so often, uh, a cooler rather. So I have to get up so often. Plus I had to continue, you had to, I had to continue to ice, elevate and ice my ankle too. So, um, so, you know, we had to, and I showed some of the things I used in a previous video for that. So if you hadn't watched that video, go back and watch it. Um, so yeah, I was eating fruit, drinking lots of bottled water. I was drinking, you know, um, my little juices. I would make my little cereal. I, I would have my little walker and I had that little basket on the walker that I showed you in the previous video. So I would go in and get my little, you know, cheer. I mostly was eating che apple cinnamon Cheerios for whatever reason all the time, my little juice, you know, and also I was drinking like uh, rosemary, um, tea, ginger tea. Cause I heard that helps reduce inflammation. Um, in the ankle and maybe that would help the um, swelling go down so I was doing that um, turmeric turmeric is very good it's, uh, for uh, to reduce inflammation so I was trying to do anything I can like natural herbity um, route to help me um, reduce that inflammation maybe that help the swelling go down you know so like I said I'm still taking 800 milligrams of ibuprofen um, so basically it was gonna be three weeks before Three weeks before I go back to the doctor to see if I can get see if I can get this cast off, see if my ankle is healing well. And I don't think I showed you I showed y'all a picture of my uh, X-ray of my ankle, but I didn't quite show y'all the picture where it clearly shows the hardware of my ankle. Um, so I'm gonna stop here and show you real quick, but don't go nowhere. Come back. Okay, so you saw all that hardware I had in my ankle, the screws, the rods, the metal plate, and even little bitty ankles. That's probably why I couldn't move anyway. Um, so now. Three weeks is coming up. I go back to see the doctor. He's going to see if it can get this cast off and hopefully get into a walking boot and um, eventually, you know, start physical therapy. So I go back to see the doctor um, and he's like, yeah, every, he, you know, does his final x-ray. He's like, no, don't, don't see any blood clots. It's healed very well. He's like, okay, you can get this cast off. I'm like, yay. I'm like, today. He's like, yes. I'm like, yay. So we get that, that cast, y'all. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. While you're in that cast or while you're just going through this experience in general, um, start your journal because that would help you get through all the emotional emotions that you're going through. Start your journal because let me tell you something. In that cast, I pretty much was losing my mind. I don't know if it was the withdrawal from being on the opioids, the, the higher pain medication I was on in the beginning. I don't know if that was it, but I literally felt like I was losing my mind, y'all. And I don't know because I was just at home, working from home, and it was just me and the walls maybe felt like it was closing in on me. I don't know, but I literally was just... And then I was, like, panicking, you know, thinking, like, what if I don't walk right, you know? But I was still optimistic. But, um, but later on, though, because of the things I was going through physical therapy what the doc was telling me y'all it kind of made me like feel like I'm going crazy but I'll I'll get into that into my um my next videos <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned for the next videos but right now I'm gonna actually show you guys um a picture some pictures and I think I got videos um like I said I wasn't planning on doing a YouTube um of this you know uh, presentation of this but I, we did like do videos and we get my cast off and what my ankle looked like and what my skin your skin looks crazy because you can't you obviously you can't wash it so you got a lot of dead skin on there so it might gross you out so but anyway uh, it's not that bad but some people you know a little, little queasy there but um but i'll show you the um the video of me getting the cast um off i'll show you the shortened down version my husband was videotaping i was videotaping i think mine was the shortest so i'm gonna put that in here and um and then show you the pics of what my ankle looked like after that and then you'll see me actually um um, well, no, I'm not going to know the next video. You'll see me actually, uh, getting my walking boot, um, put on. So, whew, this is a journey and it's just, it's just now starting to get interesting in this journey. But I hope the previous videos that you saw mine, I hope it helped you know what's to come. If you just broke your ankle or if you're going through this, some things that helped me along the way. I hope you watched that previous videos. It'll help you. Uh, that's the whole purpose of me doing this to uh, share my broken ankle journey in hopes to help someone else and put all the information in one place. So I did start like a YouTube playlist so you can see all the videos in, in chronological order and how I went on my journey. So now I'm going to stop this and you get to see me um, get my cast off. Okay. All right. So 
Thank you. If you like what you've seen on my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. So the subscribe, the subscribe button, hit that because that lets you know when I'm getting ready to post another video. Well, no, you'll get a notification that I have posted another video, okay? Um, all right. Bye. Take care. I felt something. Yeah, it, 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 it got bad in there. You'll feel it vibrating. Ah, okay. It didn't hurt you. It can't get hot though. I'm not burning. Oh, okay, sorry. Charles of Light. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I like that Breaking sound. Breaking you free. Yeah, I like that sound. <laughs> Breaking the energy. That's what it felt like. Oh, okay. Right there, okay. Your foot. All right. Ooh, praise the Lord Jesus as well. <laughs> Yay! Wanna keep this beautiful cat? I'm gonna peel these little stairs. Oh, thank you. Off. I appreciate it. They helped. They did their job. Okay. Held your skin together. It looks beautiful. Yay. Everything the incision looks good. The only thing that don't look great is that. Same I spot. know that happened. That thing you did. Yeah, what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything I did looks good. It does. I'm a better surgeon than you. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just, 100%. I'm just kidding. Uh, that because the incision looks fine. That area okay. is still black. It's, it's gonna heal. Oh. But it's just that's that's where the skin was yeah, not happy. Exactly. This skin gonna be fine. Okay, cool. Yeah.